So, Mark, today we're making a Latino shepherd's pie. What makes the shepherd pie Latino? Well, just look at all these uh, beautiful ingredients here. We're going to spice it up to the normal shepherd's pie. So we've got some chilli and some paprika in there. We've oh, got yep. olives in there. Okay. And it's not going to be a normal mashed potato on top. We've got corn through it. So yeah. lots of cream corn, textured corn. So it's going to be great. And we've got some chicken and beef mince as well. Oh, it sounds delicious. It's great, yeah. Doesn't it good? I'm liking the mix-up of the Latino shepherd's pie. It's actually um, cottage pie. Cottage pie. Mm. Well, oh. you put shepherd's pie because it's beef. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but this is really nice. As I look at the ingredients you've got, a bit of cream corn, a bit of corn, some spices, some olives, and two different types of meat. This is going to be delicious. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's same, same, but totally different. Yeah, same, same, so, totally different. And it's, it. and it's nice to, do, you know, change the recipe. You know, we're all used to the shepherd's pie, and it's, you know, it's a great staple, especially yes. in winter. But, you know, mix it up. And this is a great way of mixing it up and adding, you know, different flavours, but still having that sort of, you know, familiarity of the dish. And uh, that's right. a great thing. It's a great one for the weekend, too, because you can make a big one and then just keep it in the fridge for the weekend <laughs> and everyone can help themselves. So you're, you're parboiling right, some yeah. potatoes, clearly. Yeah, so I've got some uh, potatoes in there. So I peeled them, diced them, yep. salted water, and they're just cooking until they're nice and soft. Nice and we're going to make, make our mash. So we're going to make the filling for our... Um, Latino pie. It's a beautifully diced onion going in here. I still have not mastered the art of dicing <laughs> food yet. <laughs> yeah, we need to teach you that. Well, you should you... be doing all this prep. Oh, yeah. Well, I would slow down the show. <laughs> 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 would be here forever. Right, like, so onions going first. You know, so just sort of soft. Or is this soft right? Yeah, you can turn it down a bit now. You, you want a little bit of a sizzle, but you know, just sweat the onions so you're getting some flavour out of there. Some garlic goes in now. Yum. You know, get that cooking down a little bit. Staple to any good dish, isn't it? Some oh, garlic it, and onion. Yeah, yeah that, that's the base. And if you uh, if you cook them well uh, over that nice medium heat and bring out the flavours, you know, you get you get these fantastic depths of flavour. You get the sweetness. Um, right. So we need some flavours. So I've got some nutmeg. Nutmeg. Yes. So that goes in there now. Mhm. Mm sort of a sweet spice. Uh, I've got some chilli powder and yeah. some paprika. Yum. So that all goes in there. So you can to Woo. toast them slightly. Smell there. So this is where you don't want your pan too hot, okay? Okay. You don't want to burn those um, spices. You just want to sort of lightly toast them, bring out the aromas, um, and then we're going to start adding our meat. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's mixed in quite nicely. Smell yeah, so that's good. Already. So you can put the uh, put the chicken mince in there, okay. and then we've got the beef mince as well. And then we just want to break that down, and then just keep cooking it until it's sort of um, you know it's not pink anymore. Thank you, chef. There you go. Well, it looks like nice mince. And why the, why the two different varieties of meat? Does it add a different flavour or does it just fill well, up the I dish? Just, I, that's just, just part of the dish, you know. They like uh, they like lots of meat. Even um, roast chicken in here, apparently. I was speaking to a friend from uh, South America, from Chile. And, roast uh, chicken? Yeah, and it, like lots of roast chickens. So you've got chicken pieces in there, you've got mince in there. You know, lots and lots of different meat. You know, they love meat down there. We've got some green capsicum as well. So I'm just going to dice that up and then I'm going to pop that in as well. So it gives, gives a nice bit of texture in there and a bit of colour in the pie. You know, really, really sort of lively um, food, South American food. You know, full of flavour, full of yeah. colours. You know, just exciting to eat, just something different. And look how speedy this is to make. I mean, it's just a matter of... Yeah, it's really know, fast. ...ingredients in a pan, really. Well, that's it. So get your potatoes on first. We're going to cook them until they're soft. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to, um, you know, flavour the mash. You know, so there's lots of ingredients in here. We've got a nice, uh, meaty and um, spicy mix there. I'm going to put the capsicum in now. Okay. Why are you putting the capsicum now? So you want it sort of relatively soft, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I still want to keep it colour and I still want a little bit of a crunch in there, you know, just softens. It's all going to bake in the um, oven together, but you, you know, you'd be able to bite on it and then know it's a piece of capsicum okay, rather so. than it's just too um, mashed up. We'll give that, give that another sort of like, you know, five to ten minutes cooking so, it's, so the peppers soften, the meat's lost its pinkness, and then we're going to chop some olives and put some green olives through it. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mark. Ooh, it's smelling good. Look who we have behind us. Welcome oh. back, Jesse. Thank you, thank you. Just, you know, it's sent it's slipping. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm pleased you're back. I'm sorting it out. <laughs> you know, sheep, it's for lamb, right? OK. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Is that the no, difference? Mark the, is Someone didn't sheep? read the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on you. Well, welcome back. This guy, Jesse, we need to do an interview with him. What he's been up to in the dance world is incredible, but I'm sure we'll hear more about it over the next coming weeks. OK, shepherd's pie, cottage pie. Cottage pie. <laughs> thank Thank you, thank you, Jesse. <laughs> Cottage pie, how's it looking? Right, it's good. So it's all got down. You can see yeah. the uh, peppers are softened. Last minute, put the olives in. Give it a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Stir it around. That's good to go. Nice. Right. Smells great. Potatoes have been cooked, so they're nice and soft. Strain them off. Keep the pan on the heat for another minute, um, and then put the potatoes back in, and then turn it off. So you've got the the heat from the pan is steaming them dry. So when you make a mash, you don't want any excess liquid in there. Okay. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> well, I didn't know that. I thought the liquid helped. No. Why it do helps we add lumps. How, why do we add milk to it then? Well, you want good liquid. You want ah, butter. Okay. Not, you get, not water. And then the less water you put in, the more butter you can ah, put in. Ah, and the tastier <laughs> it is. Exactly. Right. What are you doing Here's a masher. There? All right. You're mashing now. <laughs> okay, There's no stir in there. Right, so you've got your potatoes. So you're going to start mashing them now. And then we'll give it a little... Um, oh, good texture, Mark. Good texture, mate. A little season. Yeah. So you, you're safe today because we're going to put some cream corn in there and we're going to put some corn kernels in there. So, oh, so, so you're, the not, you're not going to notice any lumps. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of uh, salt and pepper goes in there. Nice. So Mike's just mashing it around. Um, and then I've got a little bit more nutmeg as well. Love nutmeg in there, mashed potato. Yeah, so if you've actually. never tried it, you should try it. Delicious. Like really creamy or really milky mashed potato with nutmeg and black pepper. Mm. Oh, I love it. Okay, nice. Uh, and then just going to put a splash of milk, so just help you uh, mince that down. Okay. What and about then, cream? Did you put cream in here? Well, you, <laughs> I mean, make it too rich. Yeah, I mean you could if you wanted, but you got cream corn, so you don't oh, need to. So you, you know, you're just using the milk just to loosen it, and then cream corn goes in there. So you can sort of gently carry on mashing it, or you can stir it in at this point. Okay. You know, that's fine. Yum! I love a bit of cream corn. It's good, and it's great. And you know, in South American, like corn, like there's so much corn down there, and they love putting corn in the recipes. And this is a great way of, you know, even if you just did a roasted chicken on the barbecue, you know, a corn mash like this is is fantastic. And then some corn kernels in there. Okay. And then you know, all this like juice as well from the corn. You know, a little bit of that in there is is um, works really well because there's so much flavour in that. Oh, so you like that liquid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any liquid, <laughs> any liquid with a flavour. Right, so you know, give it a stir around, give it a little taste, <clears throat> see where you're at. Do you reckon that looks good? No, I reckon it might it's not good. be too lumpy. No, no, it's good. It's oh, you, you, well, you don't want it lumpy, but it's textured. That's mm. what we call uh, lumpy in the business. Oh yeah, that little hint of nutmeg is so really little, nice, and the corn, beautiful. Yeah, so really Love creamy, that. really nice. You know, and this can be quite wet, so you can make this even a bit, a little bit wetter because the meat is quite dry. Okay. Right, and now we're going to build it up. So you can pop the meat in there, mm -hmm. we'll pop the corn on top, and then we've got some mozzarella cheese here, and we're just going to put that on the top just to melt it. But here's a little tip for you. Yeah. This is what I like doing. Maybe it's a little bit overindulgent. But put your meat layer, then grate some mozzarella, then put your mash on, <laughs> and then put some more cheese on top. So just so I put the whole lot in? Yeah, it depends how hungry you are. No, you're very hungry. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed <laughs> you put olives in this, but I'll, I'll cope. You can't please everyone, no, can you? No, you can't, no. There's no coriander in it, is there? Well, Jesse will be Welcome happy. back, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of cheese there on that, and then that will just melt just with the heat as we bake it, and just, uh, just yeah, make it nice and gooey. Right, mashed potato on top, I'm okay. going to put some more cheese, and then pop it in the oven about 190 to 200 degrees for about sort of 10 to 15 minutes. Just sort of, you know, set that top, melt the cheese, get a little bit of colour on there, and that is good to go, you know? How thick do you want the top? Oh, doesn't thick. matter, as much as you can get yeah. on. Okay, great. Yeah, keep going. Brilliant. Well, I'll carry on doing this. <laughs> okay, Mark, that shepherd's pie, or Latino cottage pie, is looking fantastic. Look at that. It's just come out of the oven. Got a nice bit of colour. Yum. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Nice. Ooh, yummy. Family feast. Knife and fork and plate. Oh, mm. I'll never mind. We'll wait.